Glam Fam, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a foundation review and I already used that foundation in my last video and that was kind of my first impression if I wowed too much about it. But now I want to do like a full on review and how I felt about it and how my skin, how it's good for my skin and how I would use it actually because I thought only Makeup Forever made like the perfect stick foundation but no, somebody came in this game and beat them up. Yes, they did. Anyways, you guys, so without a further ado, let's jump into the review. So today I'm reviewing my Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation. So you get 0.25 ounces, which is 7.2 grams. And this is the packaging, their usual brown hourglass uh, box. And then the foundation shape is really, really something you wouldn't expect, which is a triangular shape. Now for me, I was very, like when I was using it, I just didn't know what to do because you know when you're using a round foundation, which is like the round tip, you're like going somewhere around the face. Now it's triangle and I was confused about how to do, how to deal with this, but I actually didn't mind it and I actually didn't mind how it went down. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a demo as well so that we can decide if it's yay or nay. So the first time I applied it, I used my Morphe F80, uh, sorry, Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki brush. I wanted to try it with a beauty blender, but I don't know how it was going to go with the beauty blender. But today we are going to see. So for today's video, I'm actually using the primer I used in my last video, which is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream. So this looks really, really goldy in the packaging, but the product actually looks like the Burberry Fresh Glow Fluid. So yeah, what I did the last time is I kind of dabbed it all over my face. So I'm going to do the half and half, half with FAD and half with Beauty Blender. Um, so I'm going to do a um, swipe, swipe, and swipe, 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 and swipe. So I'm basically going through the places where I need more coverage and you don't need a lot of this. Like this, I feel like this is too much because this is a medium to full coverage foundation and um, the last time I was filming my video, I had like a dry, I had dry patches and it didn't hang on to the dry patches. For some reason, it kind of made the dry patches invisible. So this is already dampened and I'm just going to just press it like this. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I'm very okay. It's working. I don't mind it. Actually, that beauty blender won't work. I don't know why, but I think it's a Tati video who said that. I feel like I need a little more coverage right here. It still seems a little red, but it's not too bad. Now I'm going to get my F80 Kabuki brush, and I'm just going to swirl the product like this. Distribute the product with flat top kabuki brushes. All you have to do is like go in a circular motion and you get that airbrush finishing. Okay, I'm really impressed with both sides, but I feel like F80 I had to put less effort, where usually with Beauty Blender I had to put less effort. But um, I like the brush over the beauty blender you know something simple on formula i don't think a flat foundation brush will do a good job but a flat top or a kabuki brush like this will be wonderful so i'm gonna go off the camera finish my face and then i'm gonna give you my two cents now it's time for my two cents um this foundation it does feel he it is a heavy foundation it doesn't feel heavy, so you can apply too much of this, but if you blend it really well, which is not even that hard, it just goes away and it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of products. I mean, it does look like you're wearing makeup, but it doesn't look like you're wearing like a lot of makeup. People who love a thick coverage, full coverage, but doesn't want it to look like cakey, this is not a cakey foundation. This is a very... Um, I would say seamless, like what it says, seamless blended foundation. And I really 
am loving how it worked out because when I went off camera and I was applying um, all the other stuff on my face I realized I had dry patches here and here like I had dry skin and I did not apply foundation on these area focusing on these area and then when I went with the foundation on the dry areas and I blended them in they just literally vanished in two seconds that's number one number two is I did not apply any concealer today first of all why don't you try the foundation how it goes without the concealer and apparently it can be a substitute for your concealer as well which is amazing because this is two in one women on the go keep it in your purse put it on your face blend it in and you're good I think this is really impressive like a product that can do concealing at the same time that's worth your money like I don't I'm not even I don't even think I need concealer after this like and this foundation is catered more to the uh, dry skins than uh, oily skin because I feel like it's gonna glide because this glides on my dry skin and for oily skin I feel like it's gonna run it may get a little oily if you still want to use it use setting powder and I was gonna use my setting spray but I forgot anyways if you still want to use it use setting powder and or a powder foundation on top if it if you think it gets very greasy on your face but for me, it's just winter is coming and I need something very that's very hydrating. Anyways, you guys, that's my two cents. This foundation is worth it. It's worth your penny. If you have, if you want to buy a very good high-end moisturizing foundation or like a high-end foundation that basically you can travel with. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Facebook and don't forget to share this video with your loved ones as well. And until I see you next time on my video, bye bye.